Have you ever wondered why banks struggle with innovation? It's time to change that. This is Kai Wehner with Confluent. I will explore how banks innovate faster with data streaming. As a first example, let's take a look at a customer. Raiffeisen Bank International operates in 13 countries in the EU. The first critical goal is to reduce the time to market for building new applications. How does that look like and how does a streaming platform help? We can build applications independently and every business unit or domain can choose their own technologies. This is one of the main ideas of a data mesh and why data streaming is perfect as a data hub to share and integrate these systems. You can choose your own technology. If you want to bring a new application to market, you can develop it independently in its own domain, and then you can roll it out and just have to connect it to the streaming platform. It can automatically communicate with the other systems and there is no tight coupling. And therefore you also have the independence for scalability for operations. But it's not just about time to market and innovating with new applications. In a bank, it's also about compliance. You need to be compliant and comply to regulatory reporting and different systems. How does that look like and where does data streaming help? So it's not just about innovation with faster time to market. It's also about compliance. However, this is not just about the headquarters, but it's also about all domains, which can even be across countries. This means that you need to get data out of all these different environments and get access to that. And not all of that is real-time data. It's historical data and often combined with real-time data. For example, for regulatory reporting. And this is where data streaming helps because it's not just a real-time messaging platform, but also stores the data as long as you need to. And with that, for example, a compliance application can also replay historical data out of the box without any new products or technology. A data mesh helps with innovation even across borders in independent domains. For instance, in this banking scenario, a specific country has its own core banking platform. This is completely independent from the headquarters. And therefore, this country can or sometimes needs to innovate and replace the existing banking platform with a new cloud native technology. Because data streaming decouples everything, even across regions, countries or cloud providers, you can do so without relying on the headquarters in this example. And still, you connect to it afterward. In this way, you build a decentralized data mesh. Every business unit can build its own data products. The data is available in real time if needed, but can also be consumed later. And you have the freedom of choice of your own technology and communication paradigm. But over all of that, it is compliant and can be governed by the headquarters. I hope you learned something about data mesh and data streaming. If you liked this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. And if you take a look at the description, we are sharing many more details about other best practices and case studies for the financial services industry and how data streaming can help. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Kai Wehner with Confluent.